by God's grace, I had a dream to become a multimillionaire before I turned 25, and it happened. Uh, it didn't just happen by magic. There are some of the things which I did before I turned 25, and by the time I'm 30, I, I am, what I am sharing, even just to let to you about the book, is to just tell people it is possible, even if you're Ugandan, you are Kenyan, you are Tanzanian, you are anyone, Tunisian, anyone, or you are coming from Europe, America, South America, it is possible to become a multimillionaire before. There are just certain principles which you have to follow. There are certain things which you have to do. And also there are certain connections on networks you need to have in place to be able to achieve that. So, I became a multimillionaire by 25. But it is by God's grace. It's not even by my will. I'm a believer. So I believe God made it for me into the right path to know the right things at the right time. And also to be willing to learn from others. Like here today. The people who are taking the time to listen to this podcast or to listen to what we are discussing here today, they are saying, no, I need to change my life. They are making a choice of change. True. Which so many people may say, oh, no, I'm not going to listen. I have something else which I'm going to do. So it's a choice of life which you make. Yeah. And that's what I made for myself. I said, I will make a choice of life. If I turn 25, my goal is to become a multimillionaire. In, in, in US dollars. dollars. Yes. Not in Uganda shilling. Yes. In U.S. dollars. In U.S. dollar. Yes, and you it's said, possible for others. You said your dream was to become a multimillionaire before 25. And you did that. And I did that by God's grace. Okoyo kwenye lana bapangisa, ora renti, ori bula ya, oya gara kugula taka, oya gara kukaka sabone nebo taka riyo yagaro kugula. Aba Mastermind Property Management Limited, babi kukole taka biyona, baso rosa rent, kupapangisa abo, wamuno kuda bi zenyomba, wewe lo kugule taka, eri diki kaya na, era ngateri wera, obanga diri munto bazi, na wari mo kuzimba, ba kukebe diro moti ndogo ebi zimbi sibwa, ngaba kuzesa technology uomole mbe, va kubya semi intinti te yawe ra, kuba bayina ba yingi ni abakugo, mo kuzimba, oro, ori ukewe wali ebi zimbo kugua, muri chukuli bwe chona, chita mateka kuwa tulina baloya wafawa kubu Mastermind Property Management Limited basangi wakuna manda praza second floor room F4 emabiga wa Cham Towers ikampala okuma nyibi singa wo kuwa kusimu zino wa manga ganyuru wa senta zota demo kuzimba ngokoze sa Mastermind Property Management Limited mbala msiza mwenda baganda wafe wanao wanga liyo kupeda ngo tulaba yenze sa kuzi faruk kakati wanuwe tuli tuli mo spirit ya America tuli mo United States of America and uh, in a CEO wa Concept Real Estate Brian Kayongo uh, he's a multimillionaire my dear but to gamanti katututa and so kubale it ever upscale but <laughs> to put the movie up jira katikatulete kuba upscale uh, yeah. Brian, uh, Brian Kayongo is a Ugandan and is making it big in the United States of America. So, I want to get a very long to sharing a corner story. Um, Paul and Paula, but to never to finish over the two Jacobanga to Mureta to be ringer to my ambisa or Kuberango Tegera. I call him into Vinji, a limo health care, a limo real estate. I know the business and Dara Zakwasa Ganyanga Munda Uganda. So, Angambie, I come sharing a co knowledge. Omutono tono wemanyi tomanya inzwa okubera nga inspiring generation yeno na dala abavubuka abali mukola esawa zino so uh Brian yes father you're such a big big inspiration thank you my brother thank you so much thank you thank you thank you sibya ngo omuntu okugamba anti amia let me share with you yeah it's not easy so thank you so much Brian uh kindly introduce yourself to be ready to turn like a brand i'm uh, so i'm so i'm so grateful man to meet you thank you thank you thank you uh, me too i'm really blessed to meet you mm. and i want to thank for the viewers who are here hearing us about what we are going to talk about today yeah so it's really a blessing for me to be 
in your midst and to learn from you and to learn from others out there because when we do such interviews it gives us an opportunity to hear back from people what are they saying i may be here talking about this and someone also has a different point of view about it which can help other societies and the community at large mm. to be able to improve on themselves so my name is brian kayongo i'm the ceo of concept real estate and the ceo of also watch africa studios mm. uh watch africa studios just briefly to tell you we uh build studios virtual okay. studios and okay. also we do movies and documentaries you do over, movies yeah and documentaries. and documentaries yeah all over africa and also in the u.s we are doing some programs and a couple of stuff which is coming out soon so be ready there's something which is coming out 49 it's called 49 49 is about what it's a documentary about entrepreneurship in africa <laughs> yeah. big 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 programs so he's yeah. a ugandan uh from kampala straight from kampala um here with him uh, he's going to share with us some little knowledge about what he's doing and how he has managed to build this legacy. So, uh, Brian, Nkusaba Otutambuze Mpola Mpola. Otutambuze Mpola Mpola. Tuberenga Tutegera. Who is Brian? Who is Brian? Who is Brian? How old are you? Me? I'm 30. You're 30? Yeah. <laughs> man, you're giving us a big challenge, man. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. Uh, uh, right, right now, we are having a book which is coming out. It's called Millionaire by 30. Which Millionaire just, by 30? Yeah, I said I need to write a book before I turn 30, which has to tell my journey to people how I've been able to utilize certain principles to get where I'm at today. It's not by just luck, it is by principles hmm. and also being with the right team of people working with you and surrounding you to encourage you to grow as a as a person so you wrote a book yes millionaire at, at by 30 by 30 yeah how old are you i'm 30 are you are you are you already a millionaire or who are you uh by god's grace i had a dream to become a multi-millionaire before i turned 25 and it happened uh, it didn't just happen by magic. There are some of the things which I did before I turned 25. And by the time I'm 30, I, I am, what I am sharing, even just to let to you about the book, is to just tell people it is possible, even if you're Ugandan, you are Kenyan, you are Tanzanian, you are anyone, Tunisian, anyone, or you are coming from Europe, America, South America, it is possible to become a multimillionaire before. 30. There are just certain principles which you have to follow. There are certain things which you have to do. And also there are certain connections on networks you need to have in place to be able to achieve that. So, I became a multimillionaire by 25. But it is by God's grace. It's not even by my will. I'm a believer. So I believe God made it for me into the right path to know the right things at the right time. And also to be willing to learn from others. Like here today, the people who are taking the time to listen to this podcast or to listen to what we are discussing here today, they are saying, no, I need to change my life. They are making a choice of change. True. Which so many people may say, oh, no, I'm not going to listen. I have something else which I'm going to do. So it's a choice of life which you make. Yeah. And that's what I made for myself. I said I will make a choice of life. If I turn 25, my goal is to become a multimillionaire. In, in, in US, US dollars. dollars. Yes. Not in Uganda shilling. Yes. In US dollars. In US dollar. Yes. And you it's said, possible for others. You said your dream was? To become a multimillionaire before 25. And you did that? And I did that by God's grace. So let's, well, let's start now. Yes. Let's start. Let's start. Who is Brian Kayongo? Thank you. Thank you, Farouk. So uh, Brian Kayongo, oh my God, it's a long journey, but it, uh, it's a great journey. Yeah. So I started in Kampala. Uh, I went to a Christian school in Uganda, Saroma yeah. Christian High. Okay. And uh, I we, uh, after my A level, I went to I came to the US. Hmm. So, but before I came to the US, I started a couple of different businesses in Uganda. I used to do chapati kiosks in Uganda. Okay. I also did uh, counting sales, all that in Uganda. So briefly. I was not in Uganda just as anyone. I used to love sales. Mm. And I will tell you, even today, the be best principle you need to have as any human being is to know how to sell. You need to know to sell yourself. Yeah. You need to know how to sell to others. You need to know everything which you do is about sales. Mm. If I don't know how to sell to my wife, she would have not become my wife. True. If I didn't know how to sell to my parents to be a good child to them, they would have not seen me as a good kid to them. 
they mm. would have disgraced me mm. but because i knew how to position myself to say to my parents mm. to say to my wife it's all about sales yeah even the people who work for me I am good at knowing how to serve to them to give them a power of ownership because people want to feel the sense of ownership in everything which they do. So that's one of the certain principles which afforded me by God's grace. So when I was in Kampala I come to the US briefly. Uh the when I came to the US what I focused on is that education and working. So there are so many people You you came to US at, uh, at what age? 19 years. Old. 19? Yeah, I came okay. to the US at 19. When I came to the US, my main focus was about just education and working. Mm. So I try not to divest myself into so many different things and I think I'd, I my dad when I got here he told me like you need to focus on one thing, two things. When I came here, he told me, I want you to focus on two things. School and work. By the time you 19. you were done at with the university no no, no, no I was at, I was in senior 6 okay. by the time I came here because when you come here you don't need a senior 6 uh certificate, certificate. you just need a senior four certificate to go to college okay so when I came here I went to a community college where I was doing financing and accounting and also computer information system so but before even I get to computer information system and accounting my dad thought I was going to college doing nursing Mm. So he found out after one year that I was not doing nursing. <laughs> you were doing what? As, uh, <laughs> he bought for me books, textbooks and everything. Where, where, uh, where was your dad? Was uh, he in the state? Yeah, we are living together. Okay. Me and me and him. But like he thought from day one when he got here because when I got here he had already prepared for me books, big books like this for 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 <laughs> nursing. And I'm like right. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, "Okay." Mm. So, I entered college uh I go in I start doing my financing and accounting and computer information system after like I think like a period of like one year my dad finds me like with this uh financial accounting book I'm reading and it's like how does finance connect with nursing okay <laughs> actually okay then I, then I was like this guy has now has got me so I had to come to reality to it to mm. tell my dad and I'm like you know that mm. I feel like I have the passion to do this I feel like I know everyone here is scared about going to any different other categories of like education mm. most time here parents care about us to have job security but what here which we have available by god's grace is that for me i made a choice and i said it's a hard choice to make but i am i'm willing to go for accounting yeah because the job security here is to be in medical mm. people know by uh, you you your person of different color your which category you're going to do what medical medical yeah. you get a job you are sure about the job but for me i said no let me give myself a challenge this is what i feel like doing and i know i'll, I'll make the right opportunities i'll get the right connections and I, i thank god for my dad that he supported me and he said you know what go for it if that's something you feel like you want to do go for it and i've never disappointed him since then mm. so briefly i start school uh but by that time in school i start at cvs that's high school yeah mm. i go to cvs farmers farmers yeah that i used to work there as a clerk you know i used to stand at this door i fucked the my first position they gave me there stand at the door and just say thank you for coming at cvs you know when it's cold <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> the door opens up like this and this and you like, tell them thank you uh, thank you for coming at cvs uh, uh, and and like you know every time when i say that word when it came out of my mouth i was like i'm not supposed to be here mm. i'm not supposed to be here but the, the, the one great thing which i did about cvs is that i said what should i use the money i get at cvs so that i don't dream about it in the long term that i wasted that time oh yeah that suffering okay. you know all of us we pass through certain sufferings uh, but we don't want to see what will be the end result of that suffering like mm. have a good outcome of that suffering so i said no I should put to myself a challenge. Okay. So what I did is that uh I I used to earn around like $350 a week per month. Per week. Okay. Per week 350. Mm. And that, that is a small amount my brother I'm telling you like here people who right now even at this standard so earn that money you 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 cannot pay even any bills right now. 300. 350. Yeah. But by by that time I think that that uh my dad and I we are living together and my dad his main focus was for me to do school yeah. and to do some work so that he keeps my work ethic active yes and uh when the man I used to make he didn't used to ask me for that money so he told me until when you finish college that's when I want you to start doing paying bills and all that the one thing which I want you to finish college 
and but I need also you to be actively working. I don't have to give you pocket money because you are doing because some you're work working, yeah, yeah. Mm. But for me, I said, okay, first thing, if I'm being given this opportunity as the hustle I used to have in Uganda, because you know, so many people when we come here, we lose the hustle which we had in Uganda, we lose the the the, the act action grace which we had in Uganda. So mm. I, I'll tell you, like being a millionaire. Mm. Uh, in America, it is by God's grace. But the one thing which is different, you, you, you know, uh, we used to see those people in Uganda whereby they used to drive Mercedes Benzes, they used to do all these nice cars. But after a couple of years, you see dresses are growing through those cars. Yeah, true. And they are packed. So for me, I think to in America, Millionaires are just the common people you sell around. In America? Yeah. He's a, he's a normal person you see walking on the streets. <laughs> he's a normal person who you see walking their dogs. He's, like, that, that is a millionaire. Mm. The, 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 the people in, in America, because we have a, a, the big category of people, it's, we have a lot of middle class people. In America? In America. And those middle class people, some of them are millionaires. And they are like what we call the wealth people, the one percenters, mm. which also are, are earning a living at a different scale. Okay. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And here, you, you, you cannot define me how my setup is, but just how I act in public and yeah. how I show off in public. You can only understand how my net worth is, like the buying power I have. If I want to buy a building... <laughs> Can I be able to buy? That's America. That's America. You cannot just look at somebody and then determine. De his definitely. Way. You see, for work, we can be seated here. Yeah. And I say I'm a mouth millionaire, but you may be a mouth of millionaire. Of course. Of course. Because when we sit down like this and we work numbers of doing deals, you, you have a different level of scale. Of course. And and that, that, that that's a different. That's why for me, you see me. I humble <laughs> myself. When I see people, I, it doesn't matter which category of person are yeah. they. Like, I employ a lot of people but every person i respect them according to the any That's way i see plus. them thank you so much because i know today i'm here i don't know about tomorrow yeah true. that's why i tell people success is due every day and that's why success is my duty mm, yeah but it is due every day and those dues i have to be part of paying those dues every day so uh let's go back to yeah how you started mm. because you started as student doing this and this uh pharmacy then uh, how did you like how did you build it build it to, to this level to this level you know in, i tell people investment starts in small portions yeah when i was at cvs i started investing in land in uganda because I know my skill set here, or level of inv or, or the level of investment could not work here in America. Okay. I think three hundred fifty dollars. What am I going to buy? Nothing. Here, yeah. the only thing which I can do is to invest in a four one k Rafa IRA. Mm. But by that time, I didn't have so much information about that. But the only thing which I knew, because I was coming from Uganda, I knew about the values of lands in Uganda. I knew uh, the plot of land, like in Uganda. If I can go outside of Kampala, like in Wakiso, uh, Mukono area, yeah. I can buy a small plot in those estates mm. for just like what? 50 by 100? Mm. Uh, I 100 can buy it for something like for 5 million. Mm. So I said, okay, compare the US dollar. I'm working for 300 per? Three hundred fifty dollars per week. Per week, yeah. Earning three hundred fifty per week. Per week, and then mm -hmm. what? For me, my target was that uh, if I'm earning that, can I take off two hundred dollars every week? Because every I'm, week. yeah, because that two hundred dollars would have gone to a club. Here, yeah. yeah, that two hundred dollars I would have gone and uh, had a party blast on the Saturday. Oh, true. Yeah, because you can have a blast definitely on two hundred. Yeah, on two hundred. Okay. So, <laughs> so I decided not to do that. What I decided to do is that okay, how can I still be able to be relevant into what I'm doing? I said okay, let me get this two hundred dollars. Hmm. Find someone who can help me buy plots of land in their estates. In Kampala. In Kampala. Okay. At a conservative price whereby those eight states by that, that is 12, like almost like 10 years ago. 10 years ago, 5 yeah. million you can... You 5 can million can get something good in Mukono, mm. that side. Yeah. So, I said $200, get it off every week. In a month, that's $800. That's how I started scaling. Scaling. Every month, I know I'm, at least I put down $800 on one piece of plot which I buy. Okay. So, if someone is cutting an estate and I take like two plots or three plots... My brother, 
Okay. You can do the math. Mm. I don't want people to get shocked here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but but you can do the math. And I did that for a period of almost like two two years and seven months. Okay. Doing that. Mm. So someone can do the math by just like five million. Every month I was paying that person eight hundred dollars, and I did it for two years and uh, two years and seven months. I remember. That's a big yeah. investment. It's a big investment, and that's because I made myself uncomfortable. That by that time you were a student. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. Just a student. Student. And I say $150 is enough for me to buy a, a bus ticket to go back and forth from school and to come back to Wortham. And that, that, that's how I, I was able to do that part. Wait, which start. means even students here can invest in, like, can buy plots of land in Kampala? Definitely. They can buy. They just, they're not just willing to be uncomfortable. The one principle, okay. You see, I talked about the principles of becoming a multimillionaire. Be willing to be uncomfortable and be willing to know that you are the solution to your own problems. Mm. There's no magic pill which is going to come for you. There's no magic which is going to be created by you just sitting on yourself watching Netflix. No. It is you willing to be uncomfortable. I tell people, you show up on 9 to 5, but for me, I show up on all shifts. That is a different. Yeah. You cannot compete with me who is working 24-7. For you, and that's why for me, I no longer compete with people. I just dominate. What do you mean? People compete. And they, this is how people compete. Yeah. I get to know. Farouk likes to put on caps. Caps. Hmm. What, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say, let me get a red cap. Now I'm competing with you, but the caps don't look good on me. All the caps don't it's not your thing. my appeal. Hmm. You, you get them. Yeah. I do the same. I copy. Farouk likes to wear white. I wear white. But how does white taken to my compression yeah you, you get what i'm saying yeah so but if i know my my goal is to move this cup to here it will be an effort of me working out well doing stuff like l let me explain to the simple terms how you have to think about it is like this if you're trying to move from point a to point b mm. don't create a way which you think has never been invented everything which you're going to do has ever been done just look at one direction you're going to be yeah but people try to look at see when they're going to be then they jump these steps in life then they recover when they get to see they have to reverse back okay so for me i look at one direction i get the experience the expertise the exposure the opportunities to get to be yeah and i become so good at it mm. then that's why i dominate and from A to B, people say, that guy is so good. But I don't pretend to tell myself that I'm so good from B to C. Hmm. Like other people, when they say they are going, they're going to B, then they look at C. And they say, oh my God, C looks so beautiful. But they miss B. True, true. true so for true. me, I, I position myself to just dominate into the area which I'm in. I tell people, when I enter real estate, I will dominate. And I enter in my own time. I don't enter because so and so entered. So, uh, so Brian, after after investing in Uganda yes. for a couple of years, uh, what was your next big step? My next big step is to learn. So many people make money, but when they are not well informed. Okay. My next step is that I, I realize most of the best three things which move this world is banking, insurance, and credit. Here. Here. Even globally. Okay. Globally. Because like you saw recently, there was a bank which was closed. But people just looked at the bank being closed. People didn't realize that about the ripple effect of the bank being closed. Hmm. People who make money from A, A, B, and Bs, they didn't get money. Now, A, B, and B has to figure out how those people get their money. True. So imagine I own an A, B, and B business. Hmm. And I wake up tomorrow morning thinking that I'm going to get my deposits in my account and I don't get them. Do you think I'll be able to support my family? Do you no think way. I'll be able to support another person in Uganda? No way. I would not be able. It's people who are creators. People, you see, people create like good signatures, good symbols, t-shirts, whatever. They work on it. It's had their bank account there. You yeah. think the people who are there, mid-sized businesses, how are they suffering right now? Hmm. This is a bank which was for startups. This was like, these things are important to be known. You don't just see, look at things and be like, ah, 
Tichi nkwata ko. So, e chintu wechi towe chilinti, banka wewe gadeo, ne waga mati sentinari banka, owa gondi banka wechi ya gadeo. Chilina chichitegeza eri society. Definitely. Eza wanawezi gala o what happened? Society nafe to, 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 it's the same thing. That's why you see everyone is fighting to see the government can save that bank. So that it doesn't affect, it doesn't become a ripple effect. But I'm not going to get out That can't happen. You are insured up to 250,000 FDIC. 250,000 US dollars. Even if I have like 10 million? Yes, please. That's what you withdraw. They give you 250,000. The balance? Zero. <laughs> Those, uh, they are not fair. They it's not being said in the regulation. <laughs> That's why you see when you open up your bank account, they put you a fine print below here. FDIC insured two hundred fifty thousand US dollars. But I don't want people to be scared. Your local bank didn't get affected <laughs> because you know you know people may be like that was an interview and, it, and uh, the show and talked about like it's going to affect. No 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 no. No, it's not. Don't catch me. My words are clear. This bank closed and. FDIC says 250,000 that's what is insured on your bank account. Yeah. And even if you're doing a credit union, it's the same thing. NC, NCIC, something like that. That's what, how you are insured, 250,000. Mm. So just know that because most of our, our, our Africans have a lot of credit unions. They, yeah. they like community banking yes. because community banking makes easy for easy accessibility to credit. So when I, I worked at CVS, now I need to find my next. Thing which takes me to the next level. CVS cannot be my last destination of life. Yes. So I'm like, where should I go next? Mm. What should happen? I've done this for quite a long time. I'm not going to be here at CVS for life. Yes. Uh, I've been more exposed now. I understand how things work. I said, let me try out banking. I used to love banking. I, I know sales. I'm a good salesperson. Mm. I can sell you anything. Okay. <laughs> anything. You can sell anything. Anything legal. Okay. <laughs> that was, anything, that was, I was going to ask you anything what legal. What do you mean by anything? I can say anything legal, please. Okay. Mm. Uh, so, and then I applied this to you four times. That's they, a bank. Bank. Okay. They denied me four times. You know when you apply four times? After you your back. studies. No, even not yet. I was still studying. I was still okay. in college. Okay. I applied four times. They, these guys deny me. Mm. And I'm like, no way. Yeah. The, the fifth time I apply. Yeah. This time around, you know what I did? I just walked into the bank. <laughs> Straight. So I was like, you know what? God, let me just go in and I try my luck. Hmm. Coming to the bank like this, I find the teller and tell them, you know what? I applied them, uh, but I want to see the manager. This nice lady, she comes out. She's called uh, Kim. Uh, she's a blessing in my life. I, I, I think I, I've learned so much from her. So she comes and she's like, Yes, how can I help you? I tell her, you know, I applied to this bank four times. Now this is the fifth time. I don't want to be denied. What should I do? Okay. And she's like, I've never seen someone coming that board telling me that they applied <laughs> four times and they, they have been there. Okay. I'm like, yes, uh, I can't take it anymore. Hmm. And she's like, okay, come and sit in my office. We go to sit. And she tells me, tell me about yourself. I talk to her, BC1Z. And I'm like, okay. She tells me, you know, I would love to give you an opportunity hmm. to become a tailor. I cannot start you as an MSA service customer representative. Yeah. But I can start you as a tailor. I said, why not? Anything you give me, I'll do it. I'll not disappoint you. In Kampala, I used to do that. You in Kampala, I used to sell bank accounts. Like, I used to help. Like, you know, Crane Bank, I used to sell people in fields. Oh, accounts, yeah. Whatever. Universities. Yeah. So okay. we used to go to churches, mosques, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, man. <laughs> so that's what I did. Okay. <laughs> so I, I go in. Uh, and this I learned from one of my friends. I, I thank for him for teaching me how to sell. He's called Jimmy. He's in Uganda. He used, mm. he used to do it at uh, Crane Bank. So he used to come at our school and does it. Then I learned from him. I got mm. passionate about it. Okay. Like it keeps you to social act. So it keeps you in a community based thing. So I said, let me do this. Uh, uh, yeah. This guy's a hustle. I'm telling you, to get that one bank account. Hey. Hey. So. I thank God for that guy. He, mm. We are still friends. Uh, we learn from each other every day. So, okay. I come here. The lady gives me an opportunity. Coming to uh, DCU, I become a teller. But, you know, 
the one thing which helped me in DCU, I didn't give up on the hustle. Mm. Why, why am I using the word hustle? The word hustle, I'm, I'm using it in a right way. Not the bad hustle like, oh, I'm hustling people like to take away people's things. No, I'm talking about the clear hustle of like, okay, I'm not comfortable. I'm mm. just a tailor. I can become a manager. Mm. That's, that, that was my ambition. Yeah. Like I said, this lady brought me here. She gave me an opportunity. I don't think when she gave me an opportunity, she just wanted me to just be comfortable. Okay. She wanted me to be aware, active. Mm. active and aware. So every time when I go down my, my work, I go to her, what can I do next? How can I help you? Mm. Like it was about what can I do next? How can I help you? Can I help you with this? Can I do this? Yeah. So by, by all that time of scale, when I, by the time I, I'd become like an assistant manager. So by all that, I think by God's grace is that that gave me a level of skill of knowledge knowing about insurance systems knowing about banking system knowing about like credit system three things you remember what I, that's what i told you at the beginning mm. the three things which you need to master in this world to become a well successful millionaire is to understand how banking system works how credit system works how insurance system works that's why you see so many nowadays people have just become aware of like okay you can deposit money into your your life insurance and remove it out and borrow against your life insurance and use that money but the principal money is not liquidated it's still working still making for you money returns invest big because like bank of america chess bank all these big banks they invest money in life insurances before they borrow it to you oh really that's what they do oh yeah so they invest the principal into a life insurance then okay. they borrow against the life insurance mm, 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 then they borrow mm. you the money at night during the every time it's a cycle <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's, it's a cycle <laughs> Eh, eh, okay so okay. it's a cycle so it's a system money cannot stop moving it's a money movement cycle yeah money you has to have the money movement in where you, is where where you're living where you're living and where you're working and every every destination you're in mm. so a couple of years passed by we worked uh, um i'll skip uh part of this story is that uh i found my wife hmm. at one of the functions then we talked and it's quite interesting, me and her, like, we had the same passion about different things. Mm. Then we started working on a program, uh, one of our first companies called Vitality Healthcare. Mm. So we worked on uh, doing uh, dialysis machines, to take dialysis machines to My you. Dad. Because at the end of the day, this is what I, what I got to know that money follows attention and i learned it from my mentor grant cardone like money follows attention mm. if if you if you are investing money right or or if you are you are doing things which make attention to people in the right way and in the right sense of direction yeah money for you you know me and you have been talking about like people how they come on to social media and they are not well prepared yeah. they're not like Organize of what they are communicating. Like me having an interview with you, me having an interview with another person is about the principle. What do you stand with? Yes. Farouk, I do an interview with you because I know your principles. I know what is Farouk. I know what Farouk stands for. True. Because you, 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 you're a kind person. You're a person who wants people to see what others are doing so that others can learn from others. Like that is important. Mm. And that attention, for you don't have to do anything, but the resources which you need will follow you. True, and true, that, true. And, that, that, and that's what I can tell you, my boy. So, did you quit the the DFC the D, DCO job? Well, no. By that time, when I do that program, I see the DCO. So, by God, as you're studying, right? as I'm studying, yeah. so DCO paid for my school. I thank God for that. They did that. They paid for my school. How? So, I, uh, when you're working full time in the bank, as DCO, they can offer you like benefits. One of the benefits was to pay for my school time oh that was good yeah i thank god for that because so many people get out of school with student loans i think that i didn't get out with any student loans you have no loan no i don't have any student <laughs> loans okay yeah so uh you, you did you quit or no i didn't quit i've mm. never quit any job okay i just move on to the next thing how did you move from dcu bank to the next to thing? where to where yes okay so what i can tell you is that when i was at dcu then i met my wife we started that diocese thing after the diocese thing we said okay oh, we're we a good team we can work together we need to find certain things we can work on mm. so we sat down me and i like every evening a couple of times we we're like okay how can someone create a business in america the truth we didn't have anyone who can guide us 
we didn't have even any crew or any idea how these things can be done. Then we are like, we prepare like from how do you create a company? Who are the people you need to be associated with? Like there are 18 steps. Farouk, like when people go to my website, Concept Reset, I'll put that document there. Oh, so, that they can so we come on to the conclusion. She was a nurse. I was doing my accounting. Then I told her, you know what? I, by, by, by that time, I'd met an Indian lady. That Indian lady, we started like a tax company, mm. like filing people's taxes and all that stuff. Okay. Uh, she was a major shareholder and me too, I had invested some money, but I knew people in the community. So I wanted to use that leverage with like, okay, who do I know? We can file for your taxes, all that stuff. So I got that Indian lady who worked together for a couple of years. After like, uh, before I started my other venture with my wife, I had to liquidate that company. So I saw that was one of my first companies I saw when, even when I was in college. Okay. She bought me out for 80,000. So that was one of my 80,000, my biggest you went check I've ever seen. 80. My 80. That was a big check for me. It was a big one. Big Even right was... now, it's big. <laughs> my God. It was big. I was like, hey, 80? Okay. So I get my 80,000. Uh, to uh, pretend that I don't even see it. Mm. I put it that way. Like, I. Even few people who knew about that money, I, I don't think even I told my parents because that, that's something which I did on the side, like hmm. to just keep my money on the side. So, I, me and my fiance, so by then, we, we start discussing about, okay, what can we do? Should we open up an agency? Then she tells me, she, by then she was working for one of the oldest VNA in Arlington. Hmm. Uh, then she, we, we said, yes, let us give it a shot. And I ask her a question. Why do you think it's right for us to open up a home care agency compared to any or other people who are out there who can open up a home care agency? Hmm. She told me, what do you think will make us different? She asked me the same thing. Hmm. For me, I told her, it's to provide a peace of mind to people. Hmm. First, she told me one thing. I think I'm more mindful more than anything else to people's lives. I'm mindful about how someone is taken care of. Yeah. I'm mindful about looking at details, being conscious about that. And like every day I ask God to keep that into my heart mm. because that is the prince foundation principle of why we started Mindful Healthcare Agents. Oh. So then even before we get to that, me and her, she asked me that question and I told her that to give you a peace of mind to other people. Then she comes back and she tells me, you know what? I'm going to quit. I want us to start a home care agency. Quit nursing? Qu quit her job. Mm. She was making good amount of money, I'm telling you, more than 100K. She was making more money more than me. That's why I tell people, just by be year. humble. That's by year. My fiance by then, she was making more money more than me. Mm. And I didn't take it as a, like, you know, so many people when they have someone they care about and is making more money more than them, they are feeling uncomfortable. No, for me, I see it as a, they, they have ego. They have ego. Yeah. Thank God you talked about that. Mm. I'll tell you, every man who is out there, stop your ego, please, my brothers. Stop your ego. <laughs> it's not going to help you. Ego is bad? Ego is bad. Mm. Can I tell you? Mm. Ego makes you to lose opportunities. That's ego true. makes you to lose chances of the right people you will be in your life. Like, if I feel like I was I had that ego, like, oh, she's making more money than me, mm. or, 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 or that, that, that BS, yeah. I would have been like another loser in life. Yes. yes. She was oh, like telling me, you know what, honey, I need to quit this job because I'm thinking about, like, oh, you know what, if we start our own healthcare agents, I can be mindful to people because I've done it in rehabs. I've done it in all different places. Mm. I've been a manager to that place. By that time, she was the assistant manager. And she said, she told me, no, I think I can do it better. When she went to tell the boss that I'm going to quit, the boss said, no, you are not ready. You cannot do it. Mm. I'll be waiting for you to come back here. Okay. She said, I understand I can be able to come back here. That's why I'm, I'm not leaving when I fought. Mm. That's what I tell people. Don't live in places when you have made grudges with people. Because you don't know if you are coming back. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll tell you. When you are leaving a place, it doesn't kill you to just tell someone. I ask to excuse myself yeah. for a moment. Hmm. Because, 
mm. your dad. Yes. So it is the same thing that like, people need to understand that if you you are in a place and you need to live when on the bad note, you can come back. That is true. So even if the ma- the boss is saying like, oh, you are going to be this and this and this, she's still humbling herself, saying like, no, I want to give it an, a chance mm. on myself. Mm. She leaves. Uh, she tells me she's going to quit. For me, I tell her I cannot quit. Because I, couldn't, I could not afford quitting. <laughs> okay. You, you quit. <laughs> no, no. She asked me, should I quit? I was like, I don't think so. <laughs> you should quit. Mm. Because also we had to think about what things do we have in place to build this company. How do we have to build it? Mm. You see, we have made all that roadmap meeting together and doing all that. But at the end of the day, we need to figure out how do we create this company. Yes. She calls me after a couple of days. You know what? I've quit. So what, what happened is that I, I told her, for me, I'm not going to quit. Mm. But for her, she decides to quit after a couple of days. When she quits, as she was driving back home, and someone calls her, Oh, hello, Lois. I, I know you're a nurse. I have a client of mine who you can help me with. And she said, yes, yes, I can help you with. Mm. And that person gave us like a two hours visit every day mm. for, for that client. It was a, a YouTube or something like that. Mm. So she took it on. And that's how she, she was able to survive like doing quitting mm. and starting right away. Because that, that one particular case helped us to maintain paying the, her bills and all that stuff. But... With that, just to flash back, me, I'm still working at DCU. Yeah. But we need to start that business. As a I'm at DCU, a healthcare. Mm. As I'm at DCU, I'm like, okay. Lois tells me, like, you know, I have my savings, and you two, you, uh, you, can you come up with some money? We put together, we start the, this business mm. uh, to the next level, get medical license. I didn't have enough money, I'm telling you, my brother. Mm. Okay. But you see how you plan you don't know when you're doing something how far it can take you that is true so when i bought those plots of land they had five million imagine by that time when i bought the, well, i started selling them in 2015 how much were they i don't know each one on average it was around like 12 million 13 12. million yeah the one you bought at five five mm. so it, 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 you, you 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 just have to invest that's what i tell people so you collected all your plots most of them. I sold like I think like seven of them. Then I, I put the money together, I bought the money here. Part of my down payment because I had some money here mm, saved up. Mm. You remember the eighty thousand I told you mm. and all that. And also I see you had not enough money. Mm. So that's why I'm saying about my manager. My manager she offers me some money. She says, Oh, no worries. I I, I go to her. Mm. That's why I tell you, like, don't live in places when you are fought with people. Yeah, true. I go to my boss and I tell her, you know what, I, I want to start a business uh, with my fiance. Uh, what do you think about it? I discuss with her, but I don't have enough money. Uh, and she asked me, how much do you need? Uh, by security reasons, I may not say the amount because some other people may <laughs> want to use advantage of that. Okay. She supported me with uh, a good amount of money. Mm. So... I, I go, she comes back the next day, she tells me, you know what, talk to my husband, and we are willing to give you money. But you know, people, that's why I tell you, you need to keep the trust which people have in you. That is true. This lady comes, gives me a huge chunk of money. She doesn't give me, did you date to bring back the money? She doesn't tell me to pay interest. Like there's another lady, uh, by God's grace, she's Ugandan. Mm. Like uh, th- th- that's why I have a good heart for, also for Muslim people. Mm. There is a principle of non taking people interest. It's like I, I, like it's a good thing because if someone <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, 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 it's a good thing. It's a good thing somewhere. Yeah, if somehow. you are supporting somehow, it's a good I'm, thing. I'm not, I'm not like, it's a good thing. I'm not saying it's in the wrong way. Full that's time. why Islamic banking, I think, it's good in its own ways. Yeah, you you get what I'm saying. No but, interest rate. No what. Because of the religion. As you know, religion is a good one. thing. Mm. People don't think about religion with certain principles or what mm. it comes with it. So, someone, Muslim, she gave me money and she's like, oh, 10,000 here. And she has never even asked me like for interest. Okay. Then I, I paid her back. That's a good thing. But like, those are certain unique things which you see in people's lives. So, it's the same thing which I'm saying like, it's not only 
white people who do these things, but even also the, the blacks, even the blacks, even the Ugandans. Mm. We just have to know what everyone is good here, but but they just change. Or the way you you or the way you behave, or the way you behave to them, or how you approach them, or when they see life, life changes them here. <laughs> that, that's true. That's true. He, has, he or she has been damaged so many times. So she, she's like, ah, I'm, I'm giving done. up. Yeah. I'm done. Mm. So they give me money. So I put together that money. Then we started the mindful home, uh, mindful healthcare business. He started, that's how I started. You started like with how much? Uh, a lot. A lot of money. <laughs> a lot. A lot of money. Okay. But uh, which is doable for everyone. Everyone you can will. do it because, like this business, anyone like you today, you can start. It doesn't matter. Well, you know why I'm saying today you can start? No. It starts from here. Mm. The love for it. Do you the have passion love? for it? Mm. Do you have that? And the mindset. Yeah. How have you prepared yourself? And the willingness to learn from others. And the willingness to ask the right questions. Hmm. You, you, you know I told you you can act but if you 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 can ask a question but you need to know how to ask the right question that is true you, you get what I'm saying hmm. so that is what is important like ev- anyone can start no I'm not emphasizing that money is the only thing which can start something no you having a great idea can start something because you can find another person who can invest money in you you see, my boss, she was willing to give me money. But your ideas were valid. They were valid. So if I didn't have a valid idea, she would have not given me money. So it starts with you. With you. That's what I can say. Okay. All right. All this is, is in a cycle of becoming a multi-millionaire by 25. You get what I'm saying, my brother? I'm, I'm getting you. So we start that, we start that business. Uh, for me, I started working at mm. DCU. Uh, my wife, then she, we, we, we invested and we got licenses and all that. So, at one point, I had to decide to quit. To quit a bank? Banking. Yeah. Then I talked to my boss. And my boss, she was seeing it becoming overwhelming. Because she encouraged me in the first place. Mm. She gave me my money. She's the one who even came to me and told me, I don't think it's a good idea for you to continue working here. I think it's a good idea for you to go support your wife. Okay. So she encouraged me. I, I I started reducing my responsibilities. Then I moved full time. But but company. somebody told me that banks they pay t- uh, they pay peanuts. Is that true? You uh, don't get enough money in bank. Is that true? I, I would say like this. They don't pay a lot of money, but they pay money. They I pay money. That, yeah. I, I I would say by then when I was working there, I was doing like a what eighteen dollars. It's not a lot of money. Per hour. Per hour. Eighteen dollars, but when I, I by the time I as I used to increase on different levels, by the time I left, I was making around like twenty four dollars. Oh, yeah, it's okay. not a lot of money, but it's the it's how more experience you have, what level of you are at, all mm. that. Yeah. So you decided to quit the bank to yeah. leave the bank to go uh, to go and join your wife. Yeah, to start mindful healthcare business. Mm. Uh, she was already in operation doing it, and we we driven that. We have worked, it's been like eight years okay. in the making. Hmm. Yeah, so I thank God for that. It's a lot of work. Uh, we still, uh, we have been able to, passionate to hire a lot of U- Ugandans, people in our communities to give them jobs. You have employees. Yeah, we have employees. Yeah. Hmm. And also, not only Ugandans, Kenyans, everyone. So like, many people. So many people. That's a good, that's yeah. a good thing. So by doing that, but what what makes me even start home care instead of the real estate, which I love to do, yeah, is that uh, I realize service business may be able to generate income more than the real estate first before for me. For me, that was me. That, like I need it's about cash. So you need any money first. Money or first. You cannot just run to get it, to 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 eat a chicken when you cannot buy it. <laughs> Okay, so what, what, what I did is that uh, I I invested my time in building an empire of healthcare business mm. because I realize when I building the healthcare business, it will be easier for me to to what 
to build my real estate business mm. and i realized by supporting my wife it will get us to a level that we have kick started on making sure one thing we are good at it we are great at it we can get income from it mm. so that is the home care business which we started mm. and after a while we decided i started also me to enter into doing what my real estate business so yeah. uh brian no gamba let me start real estate mm. Nintanika cheba ito kuzimba mayumba Noga renovating yeah, Noga mu America How Yeah I will tell you a chintwe tsoka mchona if you want to do that I did the vice versa of what they encourage people to do I didn't have any clue about it but I wanted to I was just you know when your heart is just dying to mean something hmm. That, that that's that's how I entered the market. Like, I didn't have I didn't know what is even residential mortgages. How can they can? You know how if I needed a commercial loan, I did like I didn't have any clue about mm, it. Mm, mm, mm. But I was just passionate about being in it. It's the same passion which I used to enter into home care business. Mm. So I was like, no, I need to be in this industry, and I I know I can add value to this. Yeah. But few of the other people I had around they were busy also chasing their dreams their careers they couldn't guide me through those who I knew who have done it before mm. so I had to just figure out myself how you can do it I can do it I started like uh, going for conferences first of all conferences like, uh, yeah <laughs> okay I I used to go for like uh, road cliff conferences like to just learn why oh yeah. We, uh, that they have had in Denver, different places. They shift from different That's places. That's Colorado. That's Colorado. Then I went to Miami, Grand Cardone, learned a bit from him. So, so many different people. Have you Kawasaki. go to different conferences. Just to consume knowledge before you invest. Invest where you That's know. how it's supposed to be? Yeah. For me. I don't know what other people... They, they, that's, they, they, that's, that, that thing is expensive you're talking about. It's expensive. But you, you have to invest. Because when you look at Cardone, hmm. uh, I saw some tickets see. Ordinary tickets at 2500 2, per ticket, yeah, and you have to fly, yeah, buy a ticket. Ah, mm. uh, man, that's, <laughs> that's expensive. Uh, no, no, I know, but that's like, expensive. imagine you invest your hundred thousand without having the proper knowledge. Do you know what is going to happen to you? No, you're going to lose a hundred thousand. You rather lose two thousand five hundred dollars than losing a hundred thousand. That is true. So that that, that that is the equation which I'm working. So with. your first step was to be edu- to get the education I need to invest right. Mm. Mm-hmm. Because some other people may say I don't want to lose two thousand five hundred. I just need to invest it. No, <laughs> my, my thinking was like I need uh, to be educated fast, fast before I invest. Okay, okay. That's okay. why I told you, like, I did not like any other traditional person how they do it by just buying a property and say, you know what, I want to buy a house. That's why you see, uh, we set up conferences for people <laughs> to come and they think about, like, oh, someone wants to make money. It's not about making money, it's about educating and sharing with the community. Because how I started this, it was about going to be, uh, to become a student mm. and you educate myself. So that I learn and make the right decision, which is good for my family, which is good for anyone who I care about. Because when I invest wrong, those people suffer in the same equation. That is true. So when we people invite you or when we ask, come learn with us. Hmm. It doesn't matter. Take the opportunity. As much information you learn, the better you become. That is true. The greater you become. That is true. What you knew yesterday, it may not be working today. Mm. You, you know, business is so dynamic. The, the way we used to market in home care a long time ago is not the same way. Yeah, true. In home care, we used to market, oh, you know what? I know so and so is working at that facility. Let me go tell them that I have an agency and they will give me work. No. It doesn't work like it that. It doesn't work like it's that. It's old fashion. It's old fashion. What we used to call word of mouth. People know you know. So right now, you need to be in people's faces in a different way. To give you business yeah so the same way for real estate that i said no let me go learn from these experts see how they do it know how they do it because anyone around me is not willing to just share knowledge for free or is not even willing to share knowledge for free they don't have time for you mm. 
So let me go invest in someone, teach me on my own cost, so that I will have time for me to teach me. <laughs> Than being on people's mercy. That's it. Mm. Because mm. when you're on people's mercy, when are you going to wait? You're yeah. going to wait, wait, wait. Oh, um, Brian, can I meet you and you teach me about race? No, if Brian is not willing to teach you, go pay someone, they teach you. Invest in yourself. People don't want to pay to be taught. You think it's everything is for free. That is true. That is true. No. You, I, I encourage our people to invest in themselves. Knowledge. Knowledge. If Batekaechi Volo like a concert, you see people lining up. Kuchivolo. Kuchivolo. But it's not bad because we need entertainment. Mm. Because after working hard, you need entertainment. But as you invest in being entertained, invest in knowledge. That's what you did. That's what I do. Not what I did. I still do. You are still doing it? Yes. Because I was in your car and I was listening to some motivation guys talking about money, finance and... Jim Rohn. I was like, what? Yeah. Even in your car, you listen to... You don't listen to music. Yeah. Because you need to consume... The, the, the much information I consume, the better I become. Yep. yep. Because I will tell you, if I don't consume, the next door guy, he will consume more than me in information and will be more aware about certain things more than me. <laughs> so you have to consume more knowledge. That's it. More knowledge. More knowledge. Like I tell someone, you spend one hour every day for 365 days a year and you say, I want to become good at underwriting alone. You become an expert more than anyone because that will consider being almost a, a college mm -hmm. degree mm -hmm. in one year. Mm. But people say, oh, I want to do this. But they don't just become great at what they do. They just look at it as it is. Hmm. You, you get what I'm saying? So you need yeah. to be as great as you can be. You, you, you need to be able to learn from someone. Because mm. So what I'm saying, like, just be ready to consume information. And if you, you come to Farouk, Farouk, I want to learn how to do this camera stuff. And Farouk is not willing to you. Farouk, can I pay you to teach me? Pay. Pay. Invest in yourself. <laughs> you, you think people just want to help you? No. Invest in yourself. Someone takes a chance on you. That's how what people do. Yeah. People can buy access. You need to pay to buy access. You think you, you need to wait for a year to learn something. So how do you define a, a real estate? Okay. I'll tell you, one of the most great things which I have invested in, I think it's real estate. Hmm. Because I love the term cash flow in real estate. I love the term of investing money into something and it can cash flow even if I'm, I'm not there or I'm there. That's real estate? That is real estate. Day and night? Day and night is cash flowing. It's gaining value. It depends how you want to enter and exit. So when you are in real estate... You like, I focus so much right now on a bar method. I buy, renovate, rent, refinance, retain. That's the bar method. That's the bar method. You buy it, you renovate rent it, it, rent it, refinance it, okay, retain it. That's what you do. That's what I do. And that has made me a lot of money. I will not refuse to say that in camera. <laughs> you have to. Because, it be, because it's simple. Yeah. It's simple. That is Anyone can do it. It's anybody, simple. Anybody can do it here. Yeah. And do you know why people can't do it? No. Because they're just selfish. They are not willing to say, I have 10,000 and can I just join your ride? They're just willing to just they join their own ride. And 10,000 cannot do anything for you, my brother and sister. No. Mm hmm be willing to join anyone's uh, a person the, the thing is about like who do you trust that person you trust if they are doing something right find a way to join their right find a way to like you know what my brother i'm going with you for no matter what let's go to let us go i'm putting in i know you need 100k i don't have 100k but for me i have 10,000. but you need to make me part of your of your game you need to make, make me part of one of your partners Hmm. Join the ride. But people think every time it's them to raise a hundred K then start doing something. No. That's wrong. That's wrong. 
Okay, you can make it, but uh, for me, when I started, way. I didn't have money to make it by myself. I joined other people's rides. Hmm. And that's how I was able to turn around, make a lot of money, learn. Because when you join another person's right, you know what is going to happen? Mm. You become my partner. Get, let me give you an example. We have a deal which we are making. We need 50000 mm. You give me 10000 I put down 40000 Now you are my partner. I'm answerable to what is going on. Yeah. You are going to come and ask me the questions. You are learning. You are seeing how it's done. You are seeing how we plan it, how we do it, how we, it exists. Mm. That's the difference. So, uh, are you? Uh, I hear people call call themselves a rota. Are they rota? Reuters. Reuters. Yeah. Who is a rota? Who is okay. a rota? <laughs> Let me tell you. We have categories of steps in uh, in, po- in, in buying estate? a property. Mm. Let me let me tell you in something in real estate. The first person you need to know how to to do this. I like. Let me tell you. Sit down. You as you. Or with someone you are buying these properties together with, mm. or someone it might be you as a family, your wife and husband. Sit down, friend. What do we want to buy? Is it a multi-family house? Mm. Is it a single-family house? Mm-hmm. Is it a commercial building? Is it an investment property? Like it, it, it depends. What's the difference? Uh, how about I hear a condo? Going to, I'm going to to give you mm. a condo. You pay you are an association. A condo can be one or two units or more. Units. Whereby you are in this, you take yourself to be a community or to be an association, whereby you, you reside together in the same place, place. but share some common areas. Is like for example, you share the dumpster, you share the same roof, you share a common area of path. That's a condo. That, that's a condo. That's how you come up with. Then you create an association. That's why you see apartment buildings are like the association. Like they say, that apartment building is a condo with an association, or it may be a town town home condo. Se- condo setting up. Anybody has a, a potential to buy a house. Anyone is allowed to buy a property in America. You don't have to be an American citizen or permanent resident to buy a house. To buy a house or to buy any property. What does it take to be a millionaire? What does it take? To what be? does it take? What are the principles? Okay, for me, the first principle uh, you have been with me. I, I told you the other time, and I told you, you know how to listen so that you can ask the right questions. Yeah, that that that, that is really important. You cannot do the job which you're doing if you you are not good at that. Because I, I meet so many different people. And you see a good talent, but because they don't know how to ask the right questions. And you know why they don't know how to ask the right questions? Why? They don't know how to listen. You first listen? You first listen, then there's an action of asking the right question. You cannot ask a question minus listening first. <laughs> you can ask a wrong question before because you didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Ah, no. Brian, Brian. <laughs> you first listen. I, I, I tell you again, this has been an argument for us, me and Farouk, <laughs> since when we met. <laughs> I tell you, Farouk, that you can ask any question when you have not listened, but it will not be the right question to ask. That's true. But you can listen and ask the right question and you get the right answer, and that can change your life. That is true. So that is one principle becoming a successful person. <laughs> so, so some of the principles of a millionaire. Yes. They listen? Or they listen. They listen. They listen. As as much as I speak, I listen as much as I can as can listen in every time. They listen. So I try not to speak. They pay attention to I detail. speak where I know it's time for me to help out someone I'm talking to, like to, for them to understand what I'm communicating. Okay. Because sometimes you may think someone understands something, but you need to re-communicate. Also, that is another principle. Hmm. Never think that people know until when you re-communicate, 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 re-communicate. Mm. Never just think that, oh, I think they know. No. No one knows. That's why uh, you've seen companies advertise every day. every time, year to year. And the other thing which you need to know, like you need to make sure that your brand is known. If you have a company, I tell people another thing to succeed is in different categories. If you want to build a personal brand, then your name has to be known, not the brand. 
Okay, let, 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 let me not confuse mm. people. You, me, I can work upon that sell concept real estate, mm. but I can still build concept real estate again because I'm the brand before re concept real estate. That is true. People forget that. You see, Farouk can sell his channel, but Farouk can build another channel because he didn't sell Farouk. Because Farouk, what he did first, he built Farouk before he built the channel. So, um, another thing I want to ask, um, we're living in the same environment. Mm. Uh, we're consuming the same oxygen. Almost we are moving in the same 24 hours. Yes, Father. What is the difference between I and you, or between the person who is watching us mm. and you, the millionaires? It comes from my chapter 4 of my book, The Enterprising Entrepreneur. I talk about procrastination. Mm. So many people love to do what we do. So many people love to do what you do. Yeah. But the only thing which they have is that I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it later. Mm. The difference mm. with us, I'll do it now. And can, how can I start now, today? Hmm. I do not procrastinate on an opportunity. Hmm. When I see an opportunity, I say, how can I go for this opportunity right now? How can I start having the right team to do it right now? How, how can I be part of it today? Like, what can be my commitment? When I see a, a real estate deal which is good, which I know I've done my numbers right, I will say, who is the right person I need to call right now to make a commitment to this property? Whereby another person will say, I'll call them tomorrow. No, I don't have tomorrow. Tomorrow another... You think when a blessing comes, when God pours blessing, it comes on for to you? No, it comes to everyone. It's who reacts first and who pays attention. Oh. So, do not procrastinate. That I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. Millionaires, they don't do that. They no, don't give a chance. They don't procrastinate. Oh, really? They don't. You... We... Take action. And action has to be immediate action. That's what you do. That's what I do. When I say situation, I don't take it lightly. Someone may fall down there and you say, oh, you laugh about, no, I'm going to make sure, are you okay? Can we take you to the hospital to check in? Because I know when you fell down there, I will be liable somewhere, somehow. Look at details. Pay attention. Don't procrastinate thinking about like, I will check in tomorrow. No, make sure it's now. All right. Poor people love to talk about money. Poor people? Yeah. They love to talk about money? Yeah. And rich people love to talk about their things. Rich people, they talk about things? Yeah. And the wealth people love to talk about ideas. They talk about ideas. Yeah. Because a poor person just hopes about money thinks about oh i can make money i can get it i can do what no a rich people has money and buys things and wants to talk about their yachts their planes their what a well person want to grow want to grow the money and that's why he's talking about ideas how can i buy coca-cola to to be able to to produce more coke to do the, the, those are ideas for us some of us we talk about money we just talk, we just oh we can even describe you all the footballers how much they earn. <laughs> That's the difference. That's the difference. A rich person, I will tell you about my car. I will tell you about my boat. I will tell you about my planes. Oh yeah. A wealth person, and that's why where by God's grace we fight to get to is that you. How can I grow this money? Uh -huh. How? That's also, it comes to the sack of people you surround yourself with. If you want to be worth, you need now to start changing your friends from being rich, rich friends to worth friends. Mm. The curve changes. How do I change my circles? You change your circles by starting out to be uncomfortable again. Oh? Because when you are, you are with the same person who is worth a hundred million dollars, you think you become a billionaire, you now need to get billionaires friends. Mm. Say, so, okay, who is the next billionaire? I need to make sure that they, pay, they pay attention to me. They get to know me by name. 
Okay. That's why I told you, you don't get a billionaire by just saying like, oh, oh you know, Farouk, I know you talk to son so they get to know me. No. Tell Farouk, <laughs> I have $2 million or $1 million. I want to invest in an idea of that gentleman over there. Farouk will say, okay, you know, sir, I have a gentleman called Brian. He wants to invest in your idea. That is paying attention to that person's stuff. Yeah. That people, when you pay attention to their stuff, they will come back to you and invest in you. That's how you scale now because you are investing in an idea. Because worth people work on ideas, they don't talk about things. They don't talk about buying a yacht. They deal with ideas. Ideas because so they are growing money. Oh yeah. For us. You look at someone who is rich and they're like, okay, I've made money. Oh, my business is making money. No, 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 no. After your business, what's next? Mm. How can you grow the money which is coming out of your business? That's why you see us creating different companies. Mm. So I should start changing my, my circles? Yeah. Right now? Right now and then. All right. Ben, Njagara uh, Tumaririze. Yeah. Um, Uganda wangi na in mbadini sababu kwe yambise ko yeah. tu berenga tu ongera yoko ko ko uba hantu nga tu bawa mm. information mm. uh, tu labe because all inspiration kuba vuboka miaka asatu <laughs> and you made it together kwa Uganda wangu by God's grace sacha mukama ochimani sacha mukama buliyomu ayaga kubera iyo ne yes mukama kuatira ko na na kuchusa so kubala okay mm. so mutuba de tuogera wali ongambe nti obude tuina bwe bumu we share the same time yeah. time zones mm. Time zones zichu kamu mbunu Time zones zichu kamu yeah. Neo even ni muamerika wabela ku east coast Jukira bucha mangu O kusinga yeah. ku west coast But still the one thing which you just have to know Is that you need to work 24-7 you, you don't have to just show up On a 9 to 5 When you show up 9 to 5 Your life is going to be 9 to 5 You are waiting for that paycheck But if you are showing up 24-7 hmm. You are showing up on all shifts And that is helping you to be able to attain your success at a different level of scale because if folk you tell me you are to work but mm. i need to uh, to access you to get knowledge from you i need to wait af after five i access you mm. but if i'm just working between nine to five i don't utilize that opportunity to get to know about what i can learn from you mm. yeah so i want to but you know kumanyambuno like sibi akwe sasira bi akwe bi edano veda uncomfortable Things don't just come on the silver platter like, oh, get it. No. no way. Things you need to fish for it. You, 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 you need to, to feel the energy that you're putting in that the results. But the people see. work. People yeah. work. People yeah. work. People work. Like, uh, physically. They work physically. They work physically. Like they work. They work physically. They work. They work physically. But how are we supposed to work? Mentally. How? You need, that's why you, you had me from every point of my story and every point of the point which I was giving you is that education is key. Learn. Learn. And I'm not saying this education of going to school <laughs> because we have seen successful people who didn't, never even never went to school. But what they have done, they have been students of life. Student of life. Student of life, what did what I mean? To do what you do, I just have to be with you for a couple months to understand what you do, and I become great at what you do. Okay. To do what I do, you just have to stay with me for quite a number of times, and you learn what I do. If you want to learn, no, don't just come to me that you are just in my circle. Mm. Come to me to learn. Mm. And by learning, it's a cost. I may not pay you. Hmm. I may I, I may I may not be the greatest boss, hmm. but you being around me, willing to learn, willing to adapt, you learn one principle or the other, which can change your life for a lifetime. Okay, that's what I can tell you. Be a student of life, hmm. a student who is willing to read a book, a student who is willing to watch a video to l see something visual and understand it and analyze it and educate themselves towards it. Maybe to know the about the area under the noise of lava. 
olaba mu echintu echirala fetu fetu chitunulira tula bali anda lyoka na yeka yes. timwe i look at the battery and i say okay where is it made can i become a supply of it eh not just looking at the battery which i can use in a camera but i look at the battery can i become a supplier how many can i sell to make a million dollars those are the things which i look at mm. i don't just look at the battery itself mm. i look at what can be the return on investment on me buying this battery for two dollars from china and i sell it for eight dollars here in america mm. which where what is a good market for me to sell this battery <laughs> But uh, kuba point yeri je na tutte mm. nje na izenti katonda wabayo we mixer mm. ajiira fenna fenna jito nyola ka katonda ayi walumu bulumu chobola ba id yo tuka noga eh chuna hichi no woze zako mm. ngaba chitute ngaba chitute noga yi kali singana chikola umaliba si ana inja dala kolecho yeah 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 kakati chikuza ku point yange ya katabo kange chapter 4 procrastination hmm. people procrastinate bajira ba, ba, idea yali aji ne supply ya manda gano na gamba nje chikola ngafunya capital no you have an idea run find someone who has capital so tetulina kujira echintu bobo chikola chikole katonda yuwa karate ye taina time ya kujira oku kulembekerera abagurabinga ngaba chigurabinga abatwala ngabatwala chechechye nini because the road ya gendo chogera kono omuntu omulagambe nono nange na de nchirooza ko chikola baba idea we have so many ideas we want to do but we don't have the right people to partner with and people always they are there asking for capital but we are looking for those people who are coming to us to say i have this idea i want you to invest in me what can we do together people we are so selfish of just doing things by ourselves have partnership but no one is willing to invest in you or to do things with you if you are just lazy you need to convince me i need to feel the energy mm. that it lies with my energy not that you are my friend and you think i'm just going to invest in you because you are my friend no way no i will invest in you if i believe in what you do Mm. not just to excite me about the moment people like to come in your life and just excite you about the moment and they leave thinking that oh i would have done that no i've learned that the hard way and i don't want people to be in the same all right way. all right katumalize tugenda yes. koma wano lero um, akatabo kokaliwa okatundira amazon the enterprising entrepreneur millionaire by 30 it will be out in uh, i think a month and a half right now amazon yeah amazon <laughs> and also we have some copies at the conference Uh, or which conference oh so we having a the kickstarter conference real estate kickstarter conference okay uh april 7th and april 8th in, where is it going to be it's going to be in the us Waltham, massachusetts okay. embassy suits in Waltham. we we'll love you to be there uh i've got a team of experts who i've worked with mm. for the lifetime of how i built my portfolio okay. and i said it's the right time i think right now to come and share with the community not only the Ugandan community but uh, West African community and all those different people mm. who love to change their lives who are willing to challenge themselves yeah. you, um i said let me get people from like the financial world mm. of real estate uh get people the realtors who are able to help you i tell you the realtor works for you not you working for the realtor so many people don't know that so you need to get the right realtor you work with who understand the principle that they, he he or she works for you and the other thing how do you get to know that the contractor is going to do what you, they need to do mm. and how have you educated yourself to know if a how can i look at how many contracts am i supposed to look at for contractors to determine this is the average number to do something so for april, april 7th and april 8th what we are doing on the 7th is that we are taking you around to see different properties which we have done the bar method on mm. and also those from our other partners what they are doing so i'm not showcasing you what i'm only do i'm not being selfish i'm also showcasing you to other people what they do the mm. people we have learned together in the same circles in the same area and some communities so it's about showing you out there what people are doing in the field because you you go to an open house and you think it's just about seeing the house is nice 
but you don't know the right questions to ask the realtor. Okay. You don't know the right questions to check with your loan broker to tell them, okay, I looked at this house, it's in this area, does it make sense? Right. What things are you looking at in the area when you're choosing a property? That is important. Okay. So now the day two, having nine speakers, hmm. four day, we are doing uh, from morning 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. For day, we are having nine speakers talking about insurance stuff, finance, how do you buy your property? Is it commercial? Is it residential? That, that's when we, people will understand fully, like me when I didn't know. Am I buying a residential property? Am I supposed to get a residential loan? Oh, am I buying a commercial property? Am I supposed to get a commercial loan? Those key details are important. The legal aspect of buying real estate, we are having a real estate lawyer to come and explain to you how legal are you supposed to be. Because we are starting from these key five steps, uh, these couple of steps. You, out there, you want to invest in real estate. You get a realtor. After that, you... By getting a realtor, you also working with a bank to get a pre-approval. Mm. That's working with a loan broker, uh, working with a, a loan broker, whoever, how you call it, then. Uh, after that step, you want to do purchase and sales. You're working with your legal person. You see how that step is mm. working. Then after there, you're working with get an insurance on your property. You, you, you get how it's mm. moving. Now you need to close the property. Now, after closing the property, you need to renovate some bit of stuff. You're working with your contractor. Yeah. And also other people giving you a testimony on how it has been a life experience. All right. So, guys, come in. Come all. I'm available. And we have uh, been giving them a promotion price right now. It's going on. Uh, VIP is $100. Uh, ordinary, we are giving $50. Come along. And in the evening, just this, I may not announce, but I have a surprise for you. A special musician guest. We need to have fun after learning all day. Okay. In the so, evening. Zuno conference in Uganda wange. Omsa Java Mita Kadon. Yeah, Grand Kadon. Grand. Akuba conference in Gaya Mitwaro City ticket ya mitwale. No rejuwa no bamuseda. Omsa Juno ya Yeah. Bioliko. Stop. Nay like overcharging the one hundred? One hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ordinary ticket ya wa was such a vajitika kunkumi bidi mwebi shobitan. Knowledge in Akubechi Saw and Chi Jula Vichy. And then I took your mo season ye mune ne super bo. Ne super bo. Time we em time we em super bo na quata? Nay na quaka don in our quarter. Burunji nyo. So and people win to, to know your kumanya. Yes. Chen together. Chen together. Let us learn from each other. When you come to this conference, I don't want you to expect mm. that I want to show you what I only know. I want to show you the other people I work with to become what I've become. All right. Mwebali nyo, mwebali dedala, mbatumideko mwena, ba hasla, mwena bali yeyo, mwena nge bisoboka. Kakati tuna kweche, kinga weche, kinzi, wabo wa miaka asatu, achikoze, kakati mwena nge gwe, haingira ku fourth floor, fifth floor, sixth, nida, tichiri deti, tuso, bolo chiku asaganya. Tetuwa gala kuga manti, uwasa tu, aa, mm. chagwa neda. Nzebi ampita ko, no, you can make it as long as ozukuka, no ozukuka, no gamba sako chigje endi mukati. Na andibanga natomera, mm. abantu bendi mu, abantu chiba no, no chusa chusa ku namba. Mm. Eh? No chusa, si chibi, abantu ate, ni obo chusa, Sig sigala ngabantu, yogela na bomo vuntu. Abantu mm. bate gela ngo yogela na bomo vuntu. Ok. Toyogela na bantu mbuno Baina webali gowotari Avantu bategele mbu mtubu hawe Then na ochu sobo la mbunga Alright Mwebali nyo, mwebali dala uh, njamu, njamu no nyako Prosesi yo kugula property wano Evi abitegele nyo Ochitegele kugula Kuinvestinga Uganda, investinga eno Kakati jojo nemi za nyo Wali, ochitegele Ye angabi, nina kuwa nze knowledge Gwechi, gwechi, chona maya, chona mpa, chona mpa. Na inze mwechi kakati. Mwaganda. Tunadamu. Wanaitula wakane. Next time.